Netflix TV, Chasta here at the Complex Recording Studio in San Francisco with one of my all-time favorite bands, not local bands, favorite bands ever, The Happies. What's up, dude? What a huge uh, Oh my God, no, it's true. Okay, so I'm just going to let you behind the curtain. In TV world, we're pretending that they didn't just play. You're going to see their performance after we chat, but I just got to sit here and have a private performance with The Happies, and it was a freaking core memory. <laughs> like that, I will remember that for the rest we love of you, my Chasta. life. No, yeah, yeah Chasta, oh, making yeah. me blush. I was, like, I was getting all teary eyed. I'm sitting oh, there wow. like jamming out. So all the compliments to get all those out of the way. How are you guys feeling? What was it like? Oh, it was awesome. It was cool having uh, you guys there because I, gr- you know what I mean. I grew up to listen to you guys on the radio and shit like that, and I have a lot of respect for you guys. So I had to go. So I had to transcend somewhere <laughs> and kind of go to like a, not overthink it and just go somewhere else. Mentally. Yeah, yeah, some people would be. Have more fun, uh, you know. Like, oh my! Like one of my legends are are watching me play, but it's like, you know, for me, I had to. I got. I get overthink it. So, well, that's what's funny is I'm sitting here doing the same thing over you guys. I'm like, oh, holy wait. shit! Like, <laughs> so one of my faves right there. It's just super cool. It's funny. I say this all the time privately, and you know, when we're having beers around the table of sound waves, I always say like, the Happies is the band that's gonna. I'm gonna wake up and they're just gonna pop, and they'll be like huge, and they've went viral, and everybody and ever you know wants to see them and be with them. And so I'm just waiting on that moment. It's any, you any guys moment. are legends. That's, too sweet. That, that's it's, an it's, unbelievably nice thing. And I mean, that seems to be the way it kind of happens these days right it's yeah like on tiktok or you know instagram something, or yeah. something we're gonna keep grinding no matter what yeah, yeah. And i know that's true and i appreciate that a lot and you guys grind like nobody's business I, it's so amazing the marketing that you do the listen to the happies hold on turn your hat around uh, there it is you'll see that on freeway overpasses uh, yeah. I, I i get so excited when i'm like somewhere random and i'll see like a cardboard sign attached yeah. to a chain link fence and i'm uh, like yeah my uh, boys it's so cool so when did that start let's go back a little bit like when and how did that begin i think in like 2020 around like the pandemic time or something Okay, because i met you guys in 2019 yeah it yeah. was it was it was probably a couple months after that and um i i don't like i just told brett i'm like i saw a garage sale sign i'm like wouldn't that be funny if there's like a you know what i mean like <laughs> totally. a, a just promotional sign for a band and it's like the happy's on spotify street it was gonna start all like corny like that and then i kind of uh, just kept going with it and, and kept trying, like we saw good results, so I kept doing it, but it's the fun, the fun ones are like when you, when they're like really silly or whatever, yeah. you know, like stupid ones or whatever. And it's all like recycled, yeah, it's like all recycled materials that yeah. we're just picking up off the side of the road. We have a spray can in the van yeah. and then we're like, you know, recycling where we can or yeah. whatever. It's uh, <laughs> old voting I- signs. That's why they look like shit. Oh, yeah. No. <laughs> Sorry, That's quite all right. We Sorry. can edit around that. You're fine. Look like, <laughs> look like crud, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> look like crud. <laughs> They're definitely not stolen or anything. Right? I love that you're, it's like a disclaimer. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> They're no one's property, we swear. Yeah. Discarded stuff. But it really is, it's super smart and it, and it has gone viral and it's taken yeah. hold. And, and I think that's the outside of the box, no pun intended. That's yeah, the outside yeah. of the box kind of yeah. thing that you have to do. Yeah. And I love that you guys just get in a van and you freaking go. Yeah. Tell me about how the sublime thing thing went like when you guys were playing that tour yeah yeah um so yeah we got really lucky last summer and eric wilson from sublime he plays in another band called spray allen yeah and so sublime slightly stupid and atmosphere uh did a huge arena tour and so we were going to we were playing the after parties so we would be going to the sublime show during the day like early evening and then we would hand out all of our flyers and everything and get to promote at the show and try to get people to come to the show, which, so Eric would play with Sublime with Rome and then get in an Uber and go 10 minutes to the bar that we were playing like right down. Yeah. So he's playing in front of like, you know, 10,000 plus. That's just the coolest thing. I don't know. I don't know. know, The sold out ones are pretty crazy. I don't know. And then, and then he shows up to the bar that's like, you know, 200 capacity or whatever and plays with his other What a cool experience for him. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I mean, getting both like angles of a night. Yeah. It's just incredible. He's a freaking legend. So how did that work with you guys? How did you meet him? How did that connection happen? Actually, I think, uh, Eli, this is a pretty funny story about Eli. So the first time we ever played with Sublime with Rome, right? We were uh-huh. opening up for them be- with Spray Allen in the desert. Yeah. And it also happened to be Eli's. That was that was my first show. But I think she was show. wondering how you guys got introduced with Eric in the first place. Yeah. Right? 
we had a booking now. agent or sorry sorry we had a guy who would get a shows in la named reed reed quow shout out reed quow and he linked us up with jacob bradley yeah. knoll's son yeah and just kind of we did shows with like the, the sublime thing's kind of a family like uh people from their music videos and shit have little bands in long beach you know alex's right. bar and all that sure and brett and i kind of played with those bands and kind of it kind of worked its way up the trough but it took like it's like a family five, vibe yeah, like, seven years or you kind of got in the sublime family tree <laughs> it's yeah. Yeah. they're all like they're amazing fun people and they're wild just yeah. taking us in and eric so is really nice. taking us under his wing which yeah. has been really his wife's really been cool. super nice yeah. to like uh, hosting us too mm -hmm. so Sorry. the after party thing was that official or was that your yeah. idea like yeah. we're just yeah. gonna yeah. follow them but it was official it was mm -hmm. official okay okay Yeah, because so the year before Spray Allen did the after parties also like, right. for their tour. And oh, then, I didn't know that. That's yeah, pretty sick. And yeah. then, the, then they asked if we wanted to come in and do that That's with them. So, so it was like a thing where like, you know, Rome was like posting it on his story that like I saw that. They wore a happy shirt. Yeah. 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 They like, were, ah. So that was super cool getting to like. He was hella nice to us too. Yeah. yeah they were all like, you know, we could have just been like the little kids there. Yeah. 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 They made us like, you know. So no them. egos, like there's is there's not big trip and ego. No, in, in that yeah. crew, there's no egos. Yeah. It's really cool. Like they yeah. have their security stuff and they take that seriously. Or but like the people guy, in the bands yeah. and stuff, like they're all yeah. super friendly. Yeah. That's one of the things I love about you guys too. Is like when you when you watch you on social media, if if you weren't to know you, you'd be like, oh my god, they're crazy partiers. They're like all this, all yeah. that, right? Because you got all the vibes and you're like in the van, and you're doing all this wild stuff. But when you are in a space like this, and I watched you come in the door and set up, and you were. So so professional and so concise and your sound check was perfect and you were so like no ego no bullshit no none of it it was just really really nice which is what i expected because i know you guys but it's just cool well, thank, thank you because in the industry you see that a, lot a lot of that yeah, yeah. not yeah. that yeah. Yeah. we yeah. definitely yeah. don't really party and stuff i mean well, like it's I don't know. I mean, we have fun, we, but we're, we're everybody not has their own vibe, and yeah, we're definitely not egotistical. That We've always far, been yeah. open to like everybody and anybody, and, and hope that everyone's will be the same way, you know. And yeah, we won't be dicks if you're not dicks type thing. <laughs> we're big ganja I mean? heads. That's a rule of life. We yeah, like the ganja. don't be a dick. But yeah, yeah, yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. That's part of the vibe, right? Yeah, yeah I think that's be. a huge thing. Yeah, like just like the like not to correlate but like to another barrier band but kind of like green days origin i guess there's some similarities where we're kind of like that where we you know just stoner culture of mm -hmm. norcal you know mm -hmm. nothing really fancy but do you remember whenever i had a full-blown panic attack when you were in oklahoma and you got pulled over <laughs> oh yeah and Dude, we like were home stressed state. Yeah. i was stressing i literally i was like oh my god i opened instagram and they had been pulled over about 20 miles from where I'm from originally. Oh, that's wow. cool. I didn't and know so, that Yeah, and so I was like, am I am I going to start calling people right now? Like, yeah. am I getting the happies out of jail? What's happening? <laughs> I was stressed, and I sent you a message. I was like, you guys cool? Yeah. Uh, yeah I think that I'd, was so funny. I had seen to... it like two hours after, you know, you yeah. posted, and I was like, either they're rolled up, or they talk their way out yeah, of it. Yeah, we kind of like milked that a little bit. Yeah. We, were like, we know that we people needed, be, uh, we needed like, like more content. engaging. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But literally like, we, like the, there was a crack in the windshield and he pulled us uh, over I for a cracked windshield. Yeah. We were on the freeway. Because there's not much going on. Yeah. 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 And then he yeah, saw a California plate, so he pulled us over. He was and like, he was yeah. actually, he was super cool. And, and then he was extremely he was cool. Like, yeah. When he, because there was a picture with me like outside talking with him and like eventually he just like, he was like back by his car and he just like signaled me to like get out and come like over to him and like they didn't see that so they <laughs> thought that I just like jumped out of the van and I'm like <laughs> I was like yeah I was like take a picture take a picture <laughs> yeah. yeah social yeah. social yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, this is it, gold. Cr it crushed it for oh, sure oh yeah. yeah yeah I was having a full blown heart attack I started texting my niece I was like cause she loves you guys I introduced you guys to a lot of people thank and, you thank and so you. she was Dude. like what they're in Ardmore I think you were right outside of Ardmore and I was that like oh familiar. my god I guarantee you I know the cop that pulled you over there's no question because I know everybody. <laughs> it's a small place. Yeah, it is. So I was ready. I was ready to pull in some favors, but I didn't have to. That's thank God. So funny. So thank speaking you. of the road, you're about to hit the road again. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. So where all are you going on this one? Um, we're going. Oh yeah. Forever. Yeah. Uh, we're pretty much hitting everything west of um, Oklahoma. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we're playing Texas, Arizona, Nevada, New Mexico. New Mexico. Wow. Yeah. All How long of it. are you gone? 
Um, month. about a month, mm -hmm. yeah, just just shy of a month. But it's a lot of shows like packed. We it's only have twenty two. Well, there's there's twenty four shows, but it's twenty two shows in twenty nine days. <laughs> oh it's man, brutal. So like, my last, voice is gonna. Be I know, I mean. no kidding. <laughs> last uh, year when we yeah we did the Sublime with Rome thing, that was what like that was like twenty four shows, but it was over like six weeks. Okay, it was, yeah. it was over seven or, weeks because yeah, it was before, weeks. and then we got to be at home for a week, and then we left again. That's it, amazing. Yeah. But then we're not, we don't have to, uh, what's it called, be away from home longer. I like that part, I guess. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, because if the shows are crunch, it's going to be intense, but at least we get to go home like five days quicker or whatever. Yeah. Most of us have a girlfriend and, you know, we don't want to cause problems. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> <We don't, laughs> I love that real He's much. like already scripted, like, and we don't want to cause problems. <laughs> we have girlfriends. We will come home early. We yeah. will be there. We will be home by curfew. As soon as I get it. I, I, I mean, understand. Like, you know. And I, again, I love that you just think them. about that and respect that because that's, yeah. that's hard. It's it hard is, to yeah. be out on the road all the time, I'm sure. Yeah. And that's a lot of shows. You got to take your vitamins, make sure you're doing hydrating, yeah. you know, all, all the good yeah. stuff. I feel like a mama bear to the happy yeah, yeah. <laughs> The best is when venues have showers. That's yeah. become our new favorite that's thing. That's the gnarly thing the about shower. touring. Yeah. yeah. That, that shit well, is brutal. Do you just do like gas station stops or like. They do have. The, yeah, because you're where from the truckers Oklahoma, are. Yeah. yeah, where they have the. Because uh, they don't really have that in California. I noticed like showers at. You got to look for Bucky's. Bucky's is oh, the yeah. biggest yeah. guy. Yeah. Yeah. Bucky's doesn't have showers though. They don't have showers. There's nothing better than he has a Bucky yeah. underwear. Yeah. Yeah. We love Bucky's. We love Bucky's. It's the best. Oh my God. Shout out Bucky's. That's a heart attack. Food though, that's hey, you know what? It's no, it's worth it. But when you're like just cruising through, you're like, yeah, I'm getting it. I'm getting the brisket from yeah. the guy in the middle <laughs> yeah, of the room. Who am I kidding though? Yeah. And I'm buying so the good. underwear. I'm doing yeah. it all. Yeah. Oh my god, I love that. Bucky's so <laughs> what's next for you guys, like album wise, song yeah. wise? Where are we at there? Twenty twenty five. I don't know. Uh, probably somewhere around there. I'd say oh, okay. the album come out right. No, it'll album. come out. Maybe a little sooner than that. Sorry about that. Yeah, fingers crossed. This year. Okay. Probably Probably some be... singles first, and then we'll kind of jump yeah. into it. Some videos. I've been do getting a lot of B roll and. Probably work, uh, have a couple more music, indie music videos kind of mm -hmm. independently made. And I'm trying to think. Yeah, sorry. I mean, we're, yeah, I mean, we have all the songs recorded for the next album. And oh, fantastic. So we're, now you're just tweaking them. We're, I mean, yeah. we're kind of past that point. We're, we just found the person that we're going to have it mixed with. Great. And so they have the files. They're going to start working on it in the next couple of weeks. And then we just have the tour. And so then once we get back from that, I mean, we're going to do some singles and then put it out. Yeah. Oh, I can't we'll wait. We'll do yeah. she, she Found Love, which you guys will hear later tonight. Yeah. And uh, we will also, so that'll be the first single off of the album. Then we'll release a, a music video that we're working on. Our director who also works at the Warriors. So that's super exciting. Ooh. Yeah, he's yeah. great. He's a childhood friend, Will Russian. Um, wow. He's hella good at um, special effects yeah. so special we're doing like a whole green screen it's got like a storyboard it's gonna be crazy rad yeah, yeah, yeah. oh that's so cool we gotta plug Jack and Dino Jack and Dino did a song he did Bleach and Soundgarden and, and uh, Soundgarden's first album wow he did um, yeah, who else those. Sonic Youth like those bands Green River all the, like the grunge bands he did we recorded with him and maybe he'll master it so we gotta see but that's that massive. was a huge deal for me yeah, yeah. I, I love uh like grunge history i i religiously watch kurt cobain's thing because it was like a beetle but more like angst shit you know i'm like his story was like really cool unfortunately at the end but like his upbringing and uh there's a thing verse course verse i used to watch over and over it's like a in-depth documentary about his life really cool actually if you want to watch nick and i talk about you seeing kurt cobain's childhood yeah, home yeah. you got to check that out uh we did a zoom interview i think it was during covid yeah. wasn't it yeah. yeah so check that oh, out yeah that was during COVID. that was Damn. super rad well you guys have a lot coming up we're very excited i know everyone else is so where do you hang out most on socially like where do you want to point people to uh we'd love to point everyone to our you know instagram that would be rad that's usually where we stay the most up to date you'll yep. get to see like the day-to-day -day stuff we if they get pulled over you'll see a picture of it you'll see it first there <laughs> yeah Yes. Uh, and then yeah check us out on Spotify or YouTube wherever you listen to your music we just appreciate you guys giving us a shot and watch out for the signs on the freeways and the overpasses if you see one take a picture post on social tag the happy <laughs> the, yeah we want to see we'll it, share it. alright so now you're going to get to experience what I just experienced live from the complex in San Francisco the happies we'll be right back